Hi, this is Jason Furman again. And this is part one of two uh, quick intro sections on getting your jazz drum set balanced. Mind you, this is for jazz drum set playing. And it's for straight ahead playing. This isn't indicative of rules that any time you play jazz that there are anything outside this. But this will help you get started playing in a small jazz ensemble and developing a good sound and balance on the drum set. We have our primary and secondary sources of sound and time. Our two primary are our ride cymbal with our right hand, that's if you're right-handed, and our hi-hat with our left foot. So these two are the primary timekeepers. If you had to play in a small rhythm section and only show up with these two instruments, you may be limited in the amount of things that you can play, but you'll be able to keep good time and it would feel good to the rest of the band. Like I always tell all of my students, the concept when you're playing ride, cymbal, and hi-hat is making sure that you're playing convincing time. I want to feel like the time is coming from the ride, cymbal, and the hi-hat. It's not just some notes that we're playing. Now the secondary, and not to say that these aren't important, but these are the primary timekeepers, and the secondary are snare drum and bass drum. Snare drum with the left hand, bass drum with the right foot. Now your bass drum may be feathering, which is a concept we'll talk about later, and keeping soft quarter notes underneath the ride cymbal pattern and hi-hat left foot pattern. The snare drum and bass drum also interact in what we call comping, what we'll talk about in a second. So the accents and the additive sounds and rhythmic structure that you give to these are what add the spice and bring life to playing straight ahead or bebop. Now, it doesn't mean to say that these are the only two sound sources. On a four-piece kit, we also have two other toms, and any other variety of sounds you can pull from the instrument are legitimate in comping. But in general, when you start learning to comp, these are the two instruments you're gonna stay on. Now, time versus comping. We have our time in the ride cymbal and hi-hat, and then our comping, are the rhythmic ideas that we use on the snare drum and bass drum underneath to complement the soloist and give them a level of propulsion and energy and help them build and structure their ideas. It's also for interplay with the other comping instrument. This may be a piano or a guitar. Or in a big band situation, it could be pre-written parts, say in a horn section, also accompanying or comping behind the instrument. And this comping is going to be underneath the time. Not to say that there aren't instances where you'll bring up comping ideas that will pop out above the time. But in general, this should be the primary source of time, and these should be the rhythmic complements that we're giving to the soloist and to this section. And getting to the balance of sound, you may have heard this before, but it's the transparency in sound. And by transparency, if you just look at the word transparent, of how you can see through while at the same time seeing the object that you're looking through. Now this level of transparency in sound means how do I keep my balance? With your four limbs, you want to think of them as sort of a mixing board, if you've seen a mixing board in sound, of those limbs. So if we were to look at our mixing board, we have the ride and the hi-hat slightly above our snare drum and bass drum. Getting used to this balance of sound will help you have a better time playing and functioning in the rhythm section and will make the soloists and even the other accompanists feel more comfortable and confident that they're making a legitimate sound in the group. One of the easiest ways besides sitting down and practicing this is to listen to the music. Listen to as much straight ahead jazz as you can if this is the avenue you wish to pursue. Not listening to the music and trying to follow this will kind of make your playing sound antiquated and not quite balanced, even though you're trying to follow these rules. So I suggest while following these rules, you do as much listening and as much playing along to records as you possibly can. I'll see you in the next segment, which is a, a brief demonstration of how this balance works.